Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty, and today we're going to be talking about this awesome website called Yarn Sub, which is one of my favorite websites to use as reference, period. They also have one of the best newsletters I read every month at length. If you're new here, hi, my name's Kim, and my channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my deals, steals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. So this is a website that I mention frequently on my lives or in my videos. It's called yarnsub.com, Y-A-R-N-S-U-B. And I'm going to show you how awesome it is. First, we're going to go and look at the actual substitution. So search for a yarn. We're going to search for... Uh, what should we search for? I think it's something good. Do, do, do. How about, um, oh, okay. Uh, loops and threads. Whoa. Did I mean? Which one did I mean? Let's go with... Uh, mm -mm -mm. This one. No, maybe not that one. Eco Lux. Okay, so it's gonna give you a breakdown of everything about this yarn. So again, if you've lost a label, but you know what kind of yarn it is, you can go back here and see exactly the recommended hook size, how many meters or yards are in a ball, care instructions, um, the needle size, the fiber content, and the weight, all that stuff. So Ecolux is made from 65% recycled polyester. Now, here is the awesomest part. So you ran out of this or a pattern you want to make is calling for this yarn, but you don't have this one. What is a good substitution? Okay, you can filter. So if it's a wool yarn, you wanna use a vegan yarn, you can do that. You can take out animal fibers, which is wool, etc. You can take out animal derived, silk, etc. You can take out synthetics if you don't wanna have the old plastic. You can even search by data signs. Okay, so you go down, the best match here is Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick. See, it says 93% match. Let me get my little pencil here. It's a 93% match. It's telling you that it's only $1. It's a good match because all, these are all the reasons that it's good. But these are the differences. It's less dense, comes in a different yardage in the balls. For each ball of the original, you will need 0.37 balls of this. So this has way more yardage. This only comes in solid colors. Now let's go down a little bit. The next match is 92% and that's Lion Brand Thick and Quick. Keep going down, you get a 91% match, 90% match. So it's going off of all the characteristics of the yarn, if that makes sense. <clears throat> you can also go here in most popular brands. They have a whole list here. These ones in bold are the most popular. And then there's some other ones here that are somewhat popular. And then they have a whole alphabetized soup to nuts down here. All of the kinds of makers of the wool, right? <clears throat> So their software it looks at gauge, texture, yarn weight and density, fiber content, and fiber quality. If a yarn has been discontinued, you won't find it offered as a substitute anymore. You can still search directly for the discontinued yarn, you just won't find it to be substituted for something else. So you're not searching by individual colors. So 
So here's the price indicator tool. Per 50 grams, one dollar sign is less than three, all the way up to more than 17. Okay, so this is how basically yarn sub works. Let's go back to the main page. Yarn sub. Okay, this is a really awesome newsletter, the Yarn Geek newsletter, Yarn Geek's newsletter, not affiliated with Ginger. Focally, focalies. You can also go on here and look up past newsletters. So here's a new article. Tunisian crochet, could it help make clothing more windproof? So you can come on here and you can read that. This was out of a newly published book. Um, so the best thing about this newsletter, number one, it lists all new crochet and knitting and fiber books that come out each month pretty accurately. Um, two, they have an extensive list each month of new and discontinued yarns by manufacturer. And they also have some pretty interesting articles in there. You can also go on here and you can look up knitting and crochet books published in and just click on a year. What kind are you interested in? I'm gonna go with only crochet. There's 56 matches, 83 knitting books for 2021. Only crochet. And then you can scroll down and see what came out this year for big crochet stuff. Like here is the crochet activity book that I featured in a review on my channel. So this is a great resource website. Again, this is yarnsub.com. Let me know if you've used this before and what you think of it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this great resource. Uh, links will be down in the description box and please like share and subscribe so your friends can learn how to be affordably crafty too. Have a creative day everyone.